I'm showing you this video of my front yard garden. It was taken in, taken in June of last year, so June of 2019. And I wanted to show you what the garden looks like in summer because what we're gonna be uh, doing in this video is we're gonna be talking about pruning. And I'm gonna show you a pruning project that I'm doing on a large rose and a nine bark here in my front yard garden. I thought I would show you a before shot of this rose and shrub and um, just this whole vignette that I'm pruning. And because I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen as I start doing it, I have an idea. And the way that I prune a lot of times is uh, really just kind of feeling my way. So I have a small garden. This is a small bed and these are big plants. So up behind there, there's a Physocarpus Diablo, which is a, um, deep bronze uh, uh, shrub and I like it and I I will probably keep it and then I've got some grasses in here and a small pit of sporum. This here that I'm working on pruning today is a Rosa metabolis. It's been here for quite a while. Um, I prune it back pretty darn hard um, and I am kind of going for a mingle effect where the rose and the uh, physocarpus kind of cohabit this space and so what I'm doing is I am noticing that there is a very significant trunk on my uh, rose metabolis and I am well and a couple things down here it's been getting quite crowded you know um, the rose is kind of occupying that space down there and it's getting crowded uh, given some of the other things that I'm trying to grow there so I am going to try and prune it into a standard and see what happens. And as with all experimental pruning, you know, there's always some risk. It may turn out badly um, or it may not work. Um, and it may, but that's okay because, you know, if it doesn't work, I'd be taking it out anyways. So I'm gonna do a pretty radical prune and see what happens. And I will um, give you an update later. Okay, and here it is after I'm done, or at least done for now. And um, hopefully you can see it a little, see it better, but I'm just gonna kind of walk you and talk you through uh, what we have here. So first of all, I do wanna point out that there are some trellises in there, which are not branches. And so those might be a little confusing when you're looking at it. Uh, those are to support the vines that go through the whole thing in high summer. So uh, what did I do yesterday? Well. I pruned the rose that we talked about. And this is experimental, okay? So I'm not necessarily telling you, oh gosh, you should do this. I'm just saying I had a very big rose that was too big for the space and I had a choice to make. Uh, either, um, you know, keep it and try something new or take it out entirely. Um, so I'm trying something new and you can see I've, cleared it out. We can see that that central trunk and then I'm growing it into a standard and it's going to put on a lot of growth this year so my thinking is is it's going to be um, I'm going to probably need to support it but it's going to um, merge and converge with the canopy of the nine bark. So let's look at that next. So this is that uh, Physocarpus Diablo and I have thinned it out a lot. Normally you should do this most every year, take out some of the oldest wood, um, but I hadn't done it in a number of years. And so I did quite a bit yesterday. And for me, I, I don't really so much mind how tall things get. So I left it pretty tall, um, but I do, uh, I, on these larger plants, a lot of times what I'm trying to do is make it so that they're not too wide, so that their overall footprint is kind of um, narrow. Uh, so they can be narrow, but they go upright. So those are the two major things that I did. Uh, but you might be curious as, as to what else I'm growing in here. I've got a, a rhododendron there. It's a little sparse. I'm hoping it's gonna fill out a little bit. It was recently transplanted. That is a rhododendron medusa, one of my favorites. There's a blue conifer back there. That's a uh, 
Picea pungens Montgomery, an Ito peony that's fully dormant, a little um, dwarf hydrangea, also very dormant. Back there, there's some hostas. Got some grasses that um, are currently still showing. That's an Anamanthale uh, pheasant grass is what that's called. There's a hardy fuchsia in there that you can't see and a penicetum that I cut back hard. Uh, we've also got some evergreen shrubs that um, help with the uh, structure. So I've got a little thuya over here with its bronze winter tone. It's supposed to be quite dwarf. It's relatively new in this bed. And then I have a pittosporum, which I think has really wonderful foliage. So that's, and obviously there's a lot more stuff in there, but my, um, my hope is that um, this will work. So sometime later this summer, I will give an update and let you know how my pruning experiment worked.